Hello, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. I am Jay Lee. This is Jay Lee's Corner. This is my review for Hustle and Soul. This is season two, episode five. Ignore this on my shirt. Y'all know this is my night shirt. I ate some food in it probably a week ago. And I ain't watched the shirt. Don't judge me. I'm saying this is one house clothes. And it is 2.43 in the morning. So, I ain't putting on real clothes. Y'all know how I do sometimes. Um, anywho, uh, for anyone who has not subscribed to my channel, Go ahead and subscribe. You're going to love me anyway. Let it be what it be. Um, <clears throat> so, the, oh, so y'all saw the little shirt that I had before the picture that came on before this came on. So, yep, I have another shirt. You know what I'm saying? Detroit's Winter Circle. People who are in, in Detroit, y'all know how we love our city. So, the link to get that shirt as long as, long as, as well as the Iron Fat shirt, as well as my mug. The link to get all of that is below. It's one link because it's all on one web page on one little store for myself. So, go ahead and shop it up, people. Love you, love you, love you. Um... So, the episode starts off, you know, when did they start calling Lawrence LP? Like, when, did, I'm like, some sounds they say Lawrence, some of them say LP. I ain't calling that man LP. I'm, that's what's there for loss prevention. I'm calling that man Lawrence. So, you know, Lawrence had that whole crazy moment when he flipped out at the, um, at the party or whatever. He has to kind of fix it because he lost all his investors to try to open up a shop in Miami. Anna gonna tell me, oh, she got the idea, she didn't fix it or whatever. She says, I entered you into this competition called the Iron Fork Iron Fork Competition. It's in Miami. They have accepted you. I'm like, how did they accept him if he didn't even, like, I mean, wouldn't they have to send in, like, a video of him cooking? Like, what's the criteria for it if they don't see that man cook? I'm just wondering. They couldn't have watched the show and got him in there because the show gonna clearly show that his ass is crazy and it's too much drama. Um, so let's see how this fake is gonna go with this particular episode or this situation. So he all happy, happy, happy because he gonna be in this competition that's in Miami. He can possibly make make meet um, meet more investors, make more money or whatever, get more exposure. I mean, I guess it is what it is. It's gonna be what it's gonna be. But you know, someone compared him last week in my comments and said Lawrence is like a pimp and Alice is bottom bitch. And, you know, Thandy is the other bottom bitch. They the two bottom bitches together. He, in a way, he is a pimp. And in a way, Anna is like, you know, a bottom bitch. Because when he make a mess, she cleaned it up. And, you know what I'm saying? I, okay, let's do what it's going to do. You know, you will see Candace. Who's the Candace, Sana, Cola, and John John all meet up. Now, I'm still confused why Sana always hanging out somewhere. But Sana ass ain't never at work. Girl, where you be at? You don't work no real days. You don't work no real hours. So... Cola and John John walking hand in hand as in Sana, not Sana as, but as if Cola ass wasn't up there fucking Stefan the last episode. I'm like, well, he must not know, but again, they do have an open relationship, so, hey, um, we find out that she has not told him yet, but I'm like, I can't look. What's the point of having an open relationship? I mean, at that point, we just fucking partners. I mean, I don't want to. I don't want to have to let someone else know. Hey, I'm gonna go ahead and sleep with this guy real quick. Um, I just wanna let you know that I'm gonna do that, so you don't know, so you don't be upset and I'll holler at you later. I don't wanna do that. I really be like, look, we single. We hook up when we hook up. I don't answer to you. You don't answer to me. I don't need to know your personal business. You don't need to know my personal business. So all we need to know is that whenever we had sex with whoever, everyone's using protection. And then that's as much of an open relationship that I want. Open meaning you know that we not in really in a relationship and we just, you know, we just getting down with the get down. But Cola and John John got this fake ass. It's gonna it's, um, explode eventually relationship and we gonna have to see it explode and when it do, let's see if Sana pick up the pieces on John John's lap. So, you know, Candace is talking to them and Candace, which is weird, my eyes, I'm sorry y'all, y'all know how I be sometimes. It'd be late. My eyes be going crazy because I be sleepy. Um, but, you know, Candace, who don't even work at the, the Pink Teacup anymore, is trying to hip 
John, John, and Cola to how things go. Now, my thing is, Sonny could have did that. Fanny could have did that. I mean, when you get gossip from a person who don't work there no more, it's usually exaggerated. But in this case, it kind of wasn't. You know what she just said? You know, the place is really crazy. They have issues. It be foolishness upon foolishness. Lawrence liked to have his women up under him. You know what I'm saying? Me and him was really, 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 really close. Like my brother close. Mm-hmm, whatever. Um, and then saying, you know, the only reason I ain't there anymore because he couldn't control me like he controlled Anna and um then he she even bring up how Lawrence last season offered to buy Sana an apartment too. But Sana didn't take it, so guess what that apartment? Thandy's ass did. Um so she's like, Yeah, he's controlling or whatever. So I'm like, Yeah, he is controlling. Then she like the cat the bat, like, Yeah, you know that Lawrence is having sex with both Anna and Thandy, which John John Cola didn't know. I'm like, You just telling all the secrets, girl? And Sana just like tell the girl Sana don't care. Spill them beans, she only really care about that or whatever. So I'm just like, well, you know, Candace a little bit stitch out in these streets, but you know it is what it is. She then say, let me give y'all a little bit of tea, you know, before Danny came into the picture or whatever. At one point in time, uh, Anna paid, wanted to pay me to watch her and Lawrence have sex. Some little kinky, freaky, dicky thing that she wanted to do. Now, I can't remember. I didn't write that. I think she said at least one time she may have took the money and watched and that could be the reason why it's so funny. And my thing is, I don't want to watch someone that's like my brother have sex. That's just disgusting. Um, ew. 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 So I'm like, that can't be too much of your brother, girl. So you can go on, go on, go on here with the games. Um, the twins. The twins try to play switcheroo with Cola. Uh, she can tell them apart. I still can't. They look the same. They sound the same. I mean, naked they kind of look the same too so i'm surprised she was able to tell them apart but you know i thought that was kind of funny when they tried to play her and she's like no you're not stefan that's stefan go ahead on with your games um we then see you know lawrence letting the staff know that anna has booked him to be on this competition um in miami and he kind of just praised anna yeah she did this and she did that she oh such a such a crafty and then you're looking like Oh, bitch. Like, Thandy was not happy with that situation. But at the end of the day, Thandy is going... Thandy looks very stupid. Like, she just... I mean... Y'all know what I forgot? Today's lipstick. <laughs> Today's lipstick. It is called... I can't even see it. Damn it. It's called Goddess. And it is a Marc Jacobs. So, yeah, this is Marc Jacobs per, uh, lipstick. I, for, I don't know. I only forgot because I didn't see the thing sitting in front of my face or whatever. And I kept looking at my lips. But, yeah. So, yeah, that's the color. And I got it from, well, I don't know. I got a, it was a, a gift set from that I got for Christmas. I got a whole bunch of colors from uh, Marc Jacobs. Um, anywho. So, Thandy is pissed off. And she just keep, you know, she pouting and pouting and pouting or whatever. And then... I think Sana asked, well, you know, was anybody else going to pop up and come or whatever? And then they're like, she mean Candace. She want to bring Candace. And now Sana and Dandy arguing. I'm like, why all these hell arguing for no goddamn reason? You know, I'm like, it don't really matter, girl, what you're arguing for. It's just too much. Um... Because I'm like, that ain't who I was talking about. So, Green just be quiet. They're arguing, 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 arguing. And I'm like, and then at this point, they also arguing over who's going to be uh, Lawrence's sous chef. But I'm like, none of y'all can cook. Because to my recollection, a sous chef for a chef is someone who can help them cook. And I'm like, wouldn't you, I mean, you ain't got no real sous chef back there. Like, you going to take your hostesses and your your fake bartenders or your fake service? Does you gonna, Okay. Um, if you like it, I love it. We do see then this, you know... So Lawrence is talking about going to visit his brother. You know, he says his brother has been in prison, or he's, his brother's in prison currently. He says that he has not seen his brother in 10 years. How, you know what I'm saying, he felt like back in the day his brother kind of failed him. You know, when his father passed away, when, when his, you know, his father left them, and he would assume that his brother would have kind of stepped in and helped, but his brother didn't. His brother was in them streets or whatever. He like, yeah, because if he was here, he'd be my sous chef. He'd be my, my partner crowd. He would be the person here with me doing everything. But he, you know what I'm saying, got caught up in that street life. So he's going to see his brother. And I'm like, okay. this. I just felt like that was, I felt like that was one of the realest moments on this series. It's only season two. But yeah, I was like, okay, this is a real bad situation because you got to go get you gotta go to a whole ass prison. So yeah, you know we do see Cole and John John talking, 
and um she like i want to get a clear understanding of you know what kind of relationship we have you know how open it is and you know what i'm saying this is what are our rules and he like she like Cause you hurt my feelings at the bar that day we was working and you was flirting with some girl in front of me and he like you know but we have an open relationship but why can't i flirt and i completely agree i mean you, you i agree with him saying if we open why can't i flirt but when she then said you know but you did it in my face i agree with that too don't do i don't want to see you do nothing bruh could ain't my business so i can see both of their points but i feel like it ain't too open if you you know what i'm saying it's just it's a catch-22 that's why you should not mix business and pleasure if that's your open pleasure your person don't have them work at the bar with you because you're at the bar bartender flirt to get more to get more tips i mean you know what i'm saying i ain't no fool i know what it is so you kind of just kind of leave that alone but you know he then was like look um i get it I got a little bit jealous too, but you, you know what I'm saying, fine with old boy at the restaurant. Honey, Cola then admit, well, you know what? I know you thought that there was something between me and him, or you thought we had something like we was flirting or whatever. She's like, so I want to let you know that, you know what I'm saying, I did hook up with Steven, Stefan. And he was like, what? Like, you slept with him? She was like, yeah, we, you know, we spent the night together. And then he was like, upset. I'm looking like, what you mad for, bruh? Y'all have a whole open relationship. You know, he pissed off. Like, you know, there are rules to this. You know, you're, she's supposed to tell me before she goes to have sex. Again, I don't want to have an open relationship where I have to tell you before I go have sex. I want to be able to go do what I want. And you are aware I'm out here doing what I want. I'm just using protection. Um, and he's pissed at me. He's like, because not only that, you know, you had sex with somebody at the job that I have to see every day. But I'm like, but you was flirting with Sana and Candace. So... And you was at the bar flirting with that girl. So you can't act as if she don't see you doing other things too. But you know what I'm saying? Men are most of the time hypocritical and you know what I'm saying? Hypocrites themselves. So whatever. And she's like, you know, it really shouldn't matter that we work together. You know, it shouldn't matter or whatever. And he like, well, I feel like I got a whole uh, reason to go and like, what do you say? Um, oh, I have a free pass to go do whatever. And she was like, say less. Everybody's saying say less this, these days. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying say more because when you say less, it's gonna mess up some things he kind of walked away but i mean when he said he has you know a pass to go do, do whatever he gonna try to sleep with sana or candace one of the two to get back at her and it's gonna cause a whole full-fledged fight i would not be surprised if he didn't go sleep with andy because Sandy's gonna be mad about um about uh lawrence so let's see how that works out for the rest of the season um lawrence has a whole little competition between it was Sana said she wasn't cooking. She said she ain't trying to be no, nobody's sous chef. But it was Dandy, Anna, Cola, and the twins. And it was that he like rented the kitchen or whatever and had them like cut some potatoes, uh, dice some onions, just do a little different stuff or whatever. I mean, it was funny. It was fun for what it was. I still feel like you need a, a real sous chef who can really know how to cook, but whatever. Um, he didn't say who was gonna pick. He was like, I'm gonna pick who I'm gonna pick later. But it was a cute little scene, you know what I'm saying? And it was what it was. Now, him going to see his brother. You know, he driving up to see his brother, who's in prison in New York. <clears throat> and you know what I'm saying? He had Anna go with him. I said, look, when you ain't seen your brother in 10 years, and you need emotional support, and you driving to go see him, and the person you take with you is your, is, is Anna, that's who you're going to be with. You know what I'm saying? You don't, like, it's certain things you take certain people to, because you want them with you in that time of need. I don't think it has anything. Like, I think when he, I think him messing with Dandy is because, I won't, I don't want to use the word desperate, but he needed her. Like, he needed help or whatever. It wasn't as, he was almost like he used her, knowing that she would kind of be there for him or whatever. But I felt like when he, him bringing Anna with him to see his brother, it was a thing of, I love her and I need her support right now because it's going to be hard for me. I'm like, him taking Anna spoke volumes, okay? And we, y'all always say in my comments, but you know, this show ain't real. It's a, all over the stage. I don't know the stage or not. I can only report on what I see. And like I told y'all before, we are talking about this show as if it's a, as if we're talking about Empire, as if we're talking about Star, as if we're talking about whatever other show. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to hear all the, oh, it's fake or whatever whatever it's a goddamn show we're talking about um but yeah that spoke volumes i think how much he care about her and how she is at the end of the day his backbone so you know he was admitting how you know what i'm saying because he was upset 
with his brother for going away to prison or just getting caught up and you know getting arrested beforehand all the time he said he felt like that's the reason why he has not seen his brother in 10 years uh, that's a long time to not go visit your brother especially if they're in the same state as you now i don't know if where he was in prison that it's like a long drive because here in michigan uh, you know we don't have any close prisons like the close like the, our prisons are like four or five six hours away sometimes so really you don't always get a chance to go drive up to see family but you know in 10 years you can make one trip a year you know what i'm saying to drive up or whatever so i don't know how far wherever he is to where the um prison is but again 10 years so he walked into the prison now i've as y'all know i've been to a prison visiting room before you know as i told y'all a long time ago my fiance was in prison i had to go visit him for like almost two years so when he i was like he pulled up to the prison. The prison looked regular, you know what I'm saying, with all the stuff or whatever. But when he went, he when he was in the prison, I said that ain't no typical prison waiting room. Like all the che- it looked like a kid's lunch room where they had all the chairs put up on the table or whatever. I'm like, this is a different ass kind of kind of um prison room. But I feel like they probably set aside somewhere for them to be away from other inmates so that they can have, you know what I'm saying, this meeting or whatever, which is amazing because some prisons don't allow that. Some prisons don't, because, I mean, his brother walked up like normal. You know, he was in a prison jumpsuit, the course, but he, you know, he wasn't shackled, which they sometimes aren't, because he's my ex when I would go visit him. He wasn't shackled when he came into the visiting room, but I was just surprised, like, it wasn't no one else in there, and it was just them in the room by themselves, like, you didn't even see any guards, so I'm looking like, is he in, like, a low security, you know, like, minimum security prison or whatever, but, you know, what it is, and, you know, his brother walked up, his brother was cute, you know, to have been in prison for so long, you know what I'm saying, he looks well put together and everything, they kind of favor, and, you know, they hug it up, he's like, that's you, I miss you, I miss you, I was like, damn, you know, it's hard, because you heard him saying, I miss you, and you heard how he meant it, because that's the first thing he said. You ain't seen a person in 10 years. You seen Lawrence crying, and when he was tearing up, but trying not to tear up, I said, okay, yeah, this is real. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, or he's a good actor. And I don't think Lawrence is a good actor. But you know what I'm saying? That, to me, was a real moment. You know what I'm saying? And then up there chit-chatting, and um, when he said, you know, don't cry. You know what I'm saying? We here now. Don't cry. It's, it's okay. I'm like, it was just so touching to see two black men brothers you know one in prison one not in prison you know what i'm saying D- just victims of life circumstances one way or the other um even with lawrence and his anger um we don't know what his brother went to jail for um we don't know how long his brother got in jail or you know we don't know if he's been in jail the whole 10 years if he just hasn't seen him in 10 years if he been in prison for five years and was you know what i'm saying we don't know any of that they didn't give any detail uh or when he getting out None of that stuff. But, you know, them just sit up there chalking and even t- chalking, <laughs> talking. Um, you know, him like, you know, I want to get a new restaurant. I want to get one in Miami. I want to be bigger and better. And his brother, you know, you you, you can do whatever you t- set your map. It was just so enlightening to see how his brother kind of wasn't <sighs> angry that he hadn't seen his brother in 10 years. Um, he was just happy to see his brother. I think that's a great thing for one, you know, and even when, um, Lawrence went to talking like how he said he got a girl that's really the one and, but he'd be messing it up and stuff. And his brother said like, don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Lock it down. You know, that's, if that's your queen, treat her as one. And I said, he giving him these jewels. He dropping these jewels to his brother and it's, and it's like, you get, you, your brother in prison, something you want to do with your ass in these streets fucking up. Um, so of course they visit wrapped up or whatever and when it was a wrapped up his brother was the one crying and they just kind of embraced for a long oh my god it's so that was one of the best moments i can say on the show so far was to show that interaction between two brothers in two different stages in life i hope his, i hope his brother get out like in time for like season four you know what I'm saying? I hope his brother got like a year left to doing his bid and he can get out. We can kind of see him get out and, you know what I'm saying, try to get his life back together. I think that would be a great addition to the show. I really, really do. But again, we don't know how long he got, so it is what it is. And, you know, his right home, he just told I'm like, yeah, he gave me some great knowledge. And, you know what I'm saying? I think I know exactly what I need to do now. So I'm like, okay. So, you know what I'm saying? Lawrence didn't have a little party to announce who he wants to um, take to Miami as a sous chef. And, you know what I'm saying, a lot of people come in. Now, Thandy walked in with a whole new red weave. I said, Thandy, is that you, girl? What's going on, girl? I like the new hair. It was longer. Um, 
I thought it was cute. They kind of teased her and said it looked like an old Tina Turner wig. Honey, Tina Turner had good wigs, baby. She wasn't no, come on now, don't, don't play Tina like that. I think it was cute. I think it was a different look. Lawrence even liked it. Um, he said, it's nice to see you with hair. She says, I always have hair. Lawrence is just longer right now. And it was, but it was a cute little, you know, it was, it was cute. It was different. It was cute. Um, so yeah. Uh, I hate when people start commenting on stuff and I be like, what the hell are you talking about? Anywho, um, he, you know, announced we're going to take it. You know, everybody thinks it's them. Danny thinks it's her. I don't think it's her. He's sitting at the head of the table. You got Anna on one side, Danny on the other. And it's like, you know, A, B, A, B, A. You know what I'm saying? Which one he going to pick? Um, he picked Anna. I don't think that's surprising to anyone. Because had he picked uh, Thandy, I think it would have been a whole knock down, drag him out, fight or whatever. So he did pick her, which kind of made her mad. Made Thandy mad. But, it's me. He then announced he going to... Even though he picked Honest as sous chef, he's still taking all of them to Miami. I'm like, okay, so this is the quintessential reality show trip. You know what I'm saying? Every show gets a trip, and this is their trip somewhere. So they all going to Miami. I'm like, because I don't think they did a trip last year. And if they did, I don't remember it. But you know what I'm saying? You know when they go on trips, all kind of shit be popping off. So, but then he's still ain't happy. You know what I'm saying? She's mad because he picked Anna. Anna gets picked for everything. He want to be one. I'm my like, girl, you you saying the things that you know are true, but yet and still, you still fucking with that man or you still holding that man to this high, high regard as if he's the end all and be all of dick and balls around these streets. And he's nothing to you, girl. He's ain't doing nothing but using you, girl. You just being stupid in these streets. So she's like, well, let's open some champagne. But she's being a little salty, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, you shouldn't bring that negativity here. Da, 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 da. Lawrence then had the balls to say to Thandy, you being out of pocket, you should apologize to Anna. I would have said, the fuck you mean? Fuck you? Anyone who looks like you. And she was like, you know what? I'm not apologizing. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to leave. Y'all have a good night. And she tried on her ass right up, right up out of there. I would have left too. Before I left, I would have made sure to say, you know what? Fuck you. <laughs> Anyone who look like you, fuck you. And fuck you too. You can't tell me to apologize to that bitch. For what? Man, no. Lawrence had would have had me fucked up for real. Ignore that noise. I got my window open because, you know what I'm saying? It's a little warm-ish. You know what I'm saying? It's getting warm here in Michigan. So, and I ain't like cutting, cutting, um, like an air conditioner on or whatever. Anywho, you know, she leave, and I'm like, okay, good. At least she didn't stay there being dumb, dumb, diddy, apologizing to Anna. That would have been some bullshit. Now, see, the following day, though, he invites Thandy to the restaurant before it all opens or whatever, and he finally tells Thandy that he wants to stay with Anna. He wants to work it out with his family. You know what I'm saying? He don't, he can't working out with his family if he messing with her too so he can't do that anymore he gon' you know what I'm saying working out with Anna and then you know seeing how him and uh, Anna got year I call her Anna I know it could be Anna whatever don't judge me he said how they have years together and how they have kids together and I feel stupid now who coming home at 3 o'clock in the morning it ain't me anywho so, yeah, he said how they've been together for all these years. They got kids together and everything. And she like, you know what I'm saying? You think I'm just going to walk away? And you think I'm going to do? And he honey, he said, and do you think I'm going to walk away from Anna? I said, now that would have crushed me. Because when he said it, he said it like, you talking as if you even compared to her. Like, I ain't leaving her. I was, and he said it so nonchalant. I was like, bitch. You couldn't say, I really do? I was like, okay, now that was, you know, crazy. He then said, you know what I'm saying? You can't break up a happy home. I was like, nigga, your home wasn't never happy. Ever. You always been messing around on Anna. We, you've always been that slick, sick talking dude, doing other things or whatever. You can't fool me. And what I do like a standy, for, for the most part, for the most part, she didn't let him play her that way. <laughs> it's a catch 22. You know, she told him, like, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Go ahead and do what you're going to do. Go ahead and play family man. He's like, well, I don't play. She's like, well, go ahead and be family man, whatever. And I'll be waiting because it ain't going to last. I ain't worried about it. It ain't going to last because I can't break up a happy home. Your home wasn't happy before I even got there. I said, okay, now that I liked. 
that she was honest with him and saying, you can't blame me for your home being unhappy. I had nothing to do with y'all not being together before I even stepped to the picture. I'm not the reason. She said, I'm not the reason I took her from you. I mean, I, I'm not the reason. Yeah, I took, no, I took you from her is what she said. And I was like, I mean, she has a point. She's still stupid in the point where she's still trying to get with him knowing he messing with her but I get her saying you know what I'm saying I didn't break up no happy home your home wasn't happy anyway you know what I'm saying I didn't force you to leave her and be with me I didn't force you to fuck me I was like okay then you know stand up for yourself ish and then she lost me because then she said I'll be here working my ass off like always for you I said now this bitch you girl you was on a roll you just so dumb. You I just can't do that. And then he kissed her on the mouth like, thank you, baby. I'm like, y'all, this hurt my nerves. I'm finna go get to work. I would have called off that day. You can't tell me that you ain't gonna leave your baby mama for me and think I'm working for a day. No, I'm going off to work today and I'm getting paid for this day. You know I ain't gonna be here. You can kiss my ass today, tomorrow, the next day. I want the whole weekend off because you just fucked up my whole day. And I would have been gone. So... Yeah, we have to wait till next week to see the next episode. But put your comments below and let me know what you thought. Other than that, it is 3.08 in the morning. I am Jaylee. This is Jaylee's Corner. Peace.